Hello everyone. Welcome back to our session. In this video, we are going to discuss about the topic time, speed and distance, which is one of the most important topic in aptitude. And if you see any competitive exams like placement exams of any companies or SBA exam, railways, okay, and so on, any competitive exams, okay, minimum guaranteed questions that can be asked from the topic of time, speed and distance, which is one of the important concept. But if you see the questions on time, speed, distance, okay, there are different set of questions from different concepts involved in this. Okay, it is not like single topic or the single concept. There are various concepts which is involved in time, speed and distance where they have given many set of questions from time, speed and distance. Okay, first in this video, we'll see the overview of the topic of time, speed and distance. Before going to solve the questions on time, speed, distance, it's very important for you all to know the overview of time, speed and distance. Okay, I will tell you how the questions is being asked from the time, speed and distance concept. First, when you when you see the questions on time, speed and distance, okay, first, it's very important for you all to know about the basic fundamentals. Okay, so what are exactly the fundamentals means if you observe the problems on basic conversions. Okay, the problems on basic conversions means you need to understand the basic conversions like how we can convert the units. Okay, which are most important. It might not be given direct questions in competitive exams. But if you want to solve difficult level questions from competitive exams, it's very important for you all to know the basic fundamentals of the time, speed and distance. Next, when you look at uh, the next one, okay, you need to understand the problems on average speed. Okay, next. Okay, here, if you follow this particular order, it will be very easy for you to all understand the concept of time, speed and distance. First, if you directly go with average speed concept, okay, my, you may feel difficult to solve questions on average speed without knowing the concept of basic conversions. I mean, the fundamentals of time, speed and distance. Okay, next one, problems on trains. Okay, you might have seen these type of problems which are most frequently asked in exams. Okay, so problems on trains. Next, when you look at that, problems on boats and streams. Next important one, problems on boats and streams. And finally, problems on races. Okay, see these five concepts, okay, which is in the single topic called time, speed and distance. If you want to cover the topic of time, speed, distance, you need to understand these five concepts as well as how to solve problems on these five concepts. Okay, first fundamentals, I mean the basic conversions. See, without knowing these fundamentals, if you directly jump to the problems on trains, okay, you will feel difficult to solve problems on trains without knowing the fundamentals of time, speed and distance. So, I request everyone, first go with fundamentals and then go with average speed and then we'll try to solve questions on problems on trains and also boats and sims. And finally, okay, very less less chances of asking questions from races but this all five five lines completes the topic of time speed and distance okay if you are good at solving all these questions okay then our concept of time speed distance will be completed okay first in this video let's solve with basic conversions okay what exactly uh, the basic conversions and how the questions will be given. Okay, most probably that di not direct questions will be given from basic conversions. This is just to understand about the topic of time, speed and distance. Okay, the first point. Okay, next the remaining four points. Okay, which are most important for solving problems. Okay, so before going to solve problems on average speed trains, boats and streams as well as races. Okay, we'll just go with the fundamentals. Okay, what exactly the fundamentals of time, speed and distance means? And I hope you all know that the basic relation between these three terms. Okay, here I'm just writing it as shortcut. Time, speed and distance. Okay, what is the relation between these three terms? You need to understand. 
okay now let's take uh, the general example suppose uh, if one of your friend is going on bike okay uh, let's take 60 kilometers per hour okay like how we can call it as like he's going with the speed of 60 kilometers per hour okay or she's going with the speed of 50 kilometers per hour okay means if you observe we are talking in general speed in speed we are talking about 60 kilometers per hour or 50 kilometers per hour correct okay now from this here speed we are calculating kilometers per hour if you observe units kilometers per hour what is this kilometers kilometers indicates distance correct here r indicates time so this is one of the basic relation and based on this and if you solve any questions either problems on trains or problems on races or boats and streams or average speed this is a fundamental and the basic important rule that you need to understand okay the relation between time speed and distance is speed is equals to speed is equals to distance divided by time distance divided by time this is one of the basic relation between these three terms okay now if you know this relation okay and if you know any two terms it is very easy for us to find a third term correct suppose if i know distance and time i can easily find it out speed okay and also from this can you tell me how i can write time is equals to just time is equals to distance distance divided by speed correct Okay, so this is second one. Okay, actually no need to remember or by heart all the things. Just you need to understand one and you can frame it remaining three. Suppose if I want distance, if I want to calculate how much distance travel, distance is equals to speed into time. Correct. So just from one relation, we are trying to frame three terms. Okay, first you need to understand speed is equals to distance divided by time okay this is one of the basic one and while solving problems almost we are using this relation okay almost every time we are going to use this relation okay so which is one of the important and just remember these three how whatever like the values given if they will give distance and time we can find speed and if they will give distance and speed we can find time and if they will give speed and time we can find distance okay one of the basic relation everyone just do make a note okay and i hope you all are clear with this relation and i will ask you a few questions on this particular relation suppose one person okay one person is traveling for 100 kilometers okay let's say that distance given is 100 kilometers and he is taking the time two hours okay he is taking time two hours now what's my question is with what speed with what speed he must go to travel 100 kilometers in two hours. Can you find it out speed? How much speed he needs to travel with? So here speed is equals to distance divided by time. We know the basic relation, right? Speed is equals to distance by time. Distance is 100 kilometers. Time is two hours. Now what is the speed? 50 kilometers per hour hour correct so the speed we calculated 50 kilometers per hour now he must travel 50 kilometers per hour to travel 100 kilometers in two hours this is what the question okay so if we know two values it is very easy for us to find third value correct now i will ask you one more example okay now one person okay he wants to travel for uh, 120 kilometers let us assume okay 120 kilometers now he wants to take the time uh, let us uh, let us take 120 minutes okay he wants to take 120 minutes now with what speed he must travel to with what speed he must travel to cover 120 kilometers in 120 minutes here also if you observe almost the first example and the second example is same okay now if you want to calculate the speed how much speed that he wants to travel to cover 120 kilometers in 120 minutes okay we know that speed is equals to distance divided by time correct now what's the distance he wants to travel 120 kilometers so 120 kilometers divided by how what's the time taken 120 minutes 
ओके वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स नाउ कैन आई सब्सिट्यूट डायरेक्टली वन ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स बाय वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स हियर वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी विल कैल विल विल गेट्स कैंसल एंड वन किलोमीटर पर आर इज दैट करेक्ट इज दैट करेक्ट नो व्हाई बिकॉज okay this is wrong because if you observe the units here units given in uh, in kilometers for distance and if you observe the time units it is minutes okay so if you want to substitute the values if you directly substitute the values you will end up with wrong answer so you must be very careful in time speed distance okay again i am telling units are very very important when you are solving time speed and distance concept now here distance is 120 kilometers that's fine now time here time is equals to given as 120 minutes correct 120 minutes is equals to how many hours we know that 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes correct so 120 minutes is nothing but 2 hours so how we can calculate speed is equals to distance is 120 kilometers and time is 2 hours we can substitute so here 120 divided by 2 which will gives you 60 kilometers per hour so final answer is 60 kilometers per hour we should not substitute the values directly okay so from this what did you understand so we can't blindly substitute the values given in the questions in the formula what we know so it is very important to know that the conversions okay it is very important to know about conversion of units okay because why i am talking about conversion of units is very very important in the question they will give you okay the person who is traveling for distance 100 kilometers okay and also they will give time in terms of hours they will ask you to calculate speed in terms of meters per second okay so you just need to be very careful all the units will be in the same phase or not okay and according to the options given in the questions we need to change the units i mean we need to convert the units according to the question it is very very important so for that we need to know the conversion of units how we can convert units say the time or distance or speed okay let's take a small example here for time okay now for time if i want to calculate i mean the convert we know that 1 hour is equals to how many minutes 60 minutes correct so 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes now if i want to convert okay hours to minutes what we need to do we need to multiply with 60 correct suppose if i want to take how many minutes for 2 hours okay what you need to do 2 into 60 so here here 2 hours getting converted to minutes how we are converting 2 multiply with 60 if you multiply with 60 it will convert to minutes suppose if you want to convert minutes to hour okay here 1 minute is equals to from the first relation 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes from this 1 minute is equals to how many hours 1 by 60 hours see guys don't get confused very simple if you want to convert from hours to minutes 1 hour is equals to multiply with 60 if you want to convert minutes to hours divided by 60 that's it okay and i hope you all are clear with this time conversion of hours to minutes now next one 1 hour is equals to 1 hour is equals to how many seconds okay actually we know that 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes correct again 1 minute is equals to how many seconds 60 seconds so 16 into 60 which is equals to 3600 seconds so 1 hour is equals to 3600 seconds this is for time most probably for all questions on time speed distance either they will give it in either minutes or hours or seconds okay you just need to understand how to convert each of the terms okay and i hope you all are clear with this time okay 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes if you want to convert hours to minutes multiply with 60 minutes to hours divided by 60 okay that's the only thing you need to understand now for distance okay we'll just calculate it for distance now you all know that 1 km is equals to how many meters if you want to convert kilometers to meters just multiply with Thousand. Why? Because one kilometer is equal to how many meters? Thousand meters. That's it. Kilometers, meters. Okay. Most probably they will not go beyond that. Most probably the questions will be either kilometers or meters. They will not give you centimeters in the 
this time speed distance concept okay so you need to understand kilometers to meters meters to kilometers from kilometers to meters multiply with thousand from meters to kilometers divided by thousand just vice versa okay just reverse okay this is all about distance now speed which is most important okay conversion of speed how we can convert speed so if it speed means units are one kilometer per hour okay speed units are kilometers per hour right so if it is one kilometer per hour how we can convert to meters per seconds okay here kilometer is getting converted to meter how are is getting converted to second if you observe kilometer is getting converted to meter hour is getting converted to seconds so one kilometer per hour converted to meters per second means multiply with 5 by 18 whatever the value here if it is 2 kilometers 2 into 5 by 18 5 kilometers 5 into 5 by 18 okay i will tell you why we are multiplying with 5 by 18 if you observe kilometer per hour is getting converted to meters per second correct so kilometer is getting converted to meter means one kilometer is equals to how many meters thousand meters divided by r r is getting converted to second one r is equals to how many seconds 3600 seconds that's it here two zeros two zeros will get cancelled two five times is 10 two 18 times is 36 so when we want to convert kilometers per hour to meters per second always remember we need to multiply with 5 by 18 when kilometers per hour to meters per second suppose if you want to convert meters per second to kilometers per R. what you need to do multiply with 18 by 5 just reverse okay and i hope you all are clear with this okay now when we want to convert kilometers to kilometers per hour to meters per second multiply with 5 by 18 okay if you want to convert meters per second to kilometers per hour what you need to do reverse multiply with 18 by 5 and i hope i have given the reason why we are multiplying with 5 by 18 18 this is all the basic conversions if you all know these basic conversions it is very easy and you may feel little easy when you are calculating difficult level questions as well okay let me ask you before closing this let me ask you a few questions on these conversions okay can you convert okay uh, convert 54 kilometers per hour into meters per second Okay, how you can convert 54 kilometers per hour to meters per second? What, what I told kilometers per hour means, right? 54 multiply with here kilometers per hour is getting converted to meters per second, right? So multiply with 5 by 18. So 18, how many times is 54? 18, 3 times is 54. So 3 into 5, 15. So 54 kilometers per hour is equals to 15 meters per second. So this is what final answer. Okay, always do remember, even when you are solving questions, don't substitute the values blindly in the given formula. Always do remember, units are very, very important in time, speed and distance. And also you must be very clear about from which value you are converting to either kilometers to meters or hours to seconds or hours to minutes or meters to kilometers. Okay, all these units are very, very important. And the final question that I will ask, can you convert, uh, let's take 20 meters per second. Okay, 20 meters per second is equals to how many kilometers per hour. Okay, so you just try to solve this here 20 meters per second. How I can say 20 meters per second into kilometers per hour multiplying with here meters per second is getting converted to kilometers per hour, right? So we need to multiply 18 by 5, correct? 18 by 5. 5, 5 once 5 4 times is 20 18 4 times is 72 kilometers per hour means 20 meters per second is equals to 72 kilometers per hour units are very very important okay and i hope you understood these basic conversions based on this we are going to solve next level of questions either either from average speed either from trains either from boats and streams as well as problems on races okay these are very very important and i hope you like this session thank you everyone